Hey, Internet friend, this is Magic Brad on Synergy Cafe here with the Synergy Collaborative and magicbrad.com. And I'm going to try and pronounce her name again. Her name is Stefania Magdudson. Very good. Yay, Very good. see, I did. I did. My last name is Goodham. I don't even use it. That's why I use Magic Brad. It's a little easier to pronounce. That's the way it is. So I don't do these very long there, you know, because time is a commodity. We don't have a lot of it, 24 hours in a day for each of us. So I, I do these kind of quick, just to find out who you are and what you got to offer and all that kind of stuff. So the first thing is, who is Stefania? Is she married? She got kids? Is she single? Is, who, do you like going surfing? What do you do? <laughs> uh, all right. So um, Stefania Madison just turned 50. So um, 50. I, it's the beginning of, a, of another central part of Romania called Transylvania. When I was 15, we, my family and I moved to the United States. We came here legally during um, the communist era, which really meant leaving everything behind, wow. start from zero. I am married. We have two children. We are almost empty nesters. Our younger one is going off to college this fall. We have a pet. You cannot see it, but she's here at my feet, Kylie. She's about 14. Back in Romania, I was for two years. I trained as a competitive gymnast at the school where Nadia Comaneci trains. So wow. I have uh, gymnastics and ballet and a little bit of ballroom dancing as part of my background. I'm still very active. I think that the body is the temple of our soul, and I take. Uh, good and loving care of it. I speak several languages. I run a nonprofit, Blue Heron Foundation, for the past 16 years, college scholarships for Romanian and Moldovan orphan youth. We put them through college, we pair them with mentors. We have about 100 students in our program every year. We just want to help them heal and become independent, self sufficient adults. I also wrote a book. It initially came out in Romania about seven years ago. It's a, dial a book of dialogues between me and author, poet, novelist Carmen Piran. It, it sold out in two editions, and just uh, in November of last year, it was also published in the United States. And it's a book that deals with myriad of topics. What's the title? The title is Searching for the White Magician, Spiritual <laughs> Psychology and the Manifestation of Destiny. Uh, when I was 23, I was accepted in a program of applied spiritual psychology at the University of Santa Monica here in Los Angeles. So for about 27 years of my life, I have cultivated a deep spiritual practice, which is really part of my everyday life part of what I bring to our family, to the foundation that I run, many of the skills and notions and life experiences um, that have this thread are shared with our readers in the book. And um, yes, so spiritual psychology and spirituality and a connection with the divine has been a big, I think it's always been in my life. I felt even growing up, but somehow it became more official when I when I graduated with this degree. Do you, do you have a copy of the book you can hold up? Or? Yes. Oh, good. So um, we can judge the book by its cover, so you can yes, see what it looks like. it's available like. on Amazon. Okay, Searching for the White Magician. Yes. You know, I'm a magician. That's where the magic Brad word comes from originally. Oh. <laughs> so, well, when I saw Brad that. And it didn't even occur to me until uh, somebody pointed pointed it out after I published the book, but part of my name, uh, it has that, almost all the letters of yeah. magic in it. I'm just, I'm missing one, but it has that same yeah. sort of feel. Yeah, my wife does some numerology and she converts that into the alphanumeric kind of thing. So have her do your, num your numbers. <laughs> Very cool. So do you have any projects that are coming up? Any, uh, maybe you're speaking somewhere or something like that happening? Well, I, I host two salons for the foundation every year. I've been doing this for 16 years now. 
one in Los Angeles every fall and one in New York every spring. It's just a two hour meeting where for one hour we socialize and have some hors d'oeuvres and then for the other hour I present and do Q&A. This is for Blue Heron Foundation supporters. They get to hear what we've accomplished that year and they are invited to continue to contribute, to invite other friends who are enticed by our cause to become participants. How, how did you come up with the name Blue Heron for it? Yeah, well, so that was about 2002 and it was a time in our lives, our kids were still very young three and five years of age and like every mother I just adored them and I was so deeply immersed in their lives and I was so grateful that they were healthy and they had everything they needed but then one day it sort of occurred to me in a very organic way that not all kids have that and my prayer of thanks and gratitude sort of turned into the question how about those who don't have that and so I went back to Romania and visited some orphanages. But the blue heron in Native American symbolism is the symbol of contemplation, of going deep within ourselves and then manifesting on the physical level. Um, our spiritual purpose here in this lifetime. So okay. that, that's how I came up with the name. It, it came from Native American spirituality. Very cool. Time, it also became clear that it's a metaphor for the kids we take under our wing, and then we teach them how to fly. Very cool. It's always yeah. interesting to find out how people came up with the names of their company when it doesn't seem like it's, you know, it's not like the Directly Institute related. for yeah. Orphanage or anything like that. Very interesting. Yeah. Very cool. So before I sign this off and I ask my favorite question, yeah. which is the big why question, woo -hoo. Can you share with us how to get a hold of you, like a domain name or something, so in case people are interested oh, when they see this, they can sure. find you. And then I'll put that them links on the, the blog and stuff too. Yes. So the best way is www.blueheronfoundation.org. That's our website. And when you go there, in order to get a hold of me or anybody on the team, you will see info at blueheronfoundation.org. Got it. And we have a Facebook page for the foundation, and we have a Facebook page for the book, Searching for the White Magician, and an Instagram, Searching for the White Magician. So these are three ways in which people can get a hold of me. Perfect. I will put those links in there, like I said, because that, that's kind of how the internet works. It's all just a bunch of words and links, you know? Yes. <laughs> I do learn so much more. So here's my favorite question. That's the big why question. You kind of answered it with, um, you know, with your children and the less fortunate. But why did you decide on this as opposed to continuing a gymnastic career or maybe getting into ballet or you mentioned uh, ballroom dancing? Why did you change those? Or I suppose you still do those things. But why did you become a more of a professional in that matter as opposed to doing what you're doing now? Yeah, well... I, my undergraduate degree at University of Utah was in public health, so I think I was already um, going a slightly in a different direction. I've always been a person who listens to my insight and what animates me, and so I went with where my heart pulled me. Got it. Yeah. That's good. Thinking with your heart instead of your head. <laughs> yes. I'm trying to dismantle the my mind. That's what I've been at. I've had that challenge. I'm a Gemini, so I end up toggling back and forth, and I, I, my brain is always going. I can't shut it off sometimes. It's hard for me to meditate. i got to focus somewhere else. <laughs> so, anyways, I appreciate you taking the time. I'm going to pull this together and beam it up to the universe, and then when you see it online, if you could share it also, that's the whole Synergy Cafe concept, and we will collaborate and get it out to the world. So, Stefania, I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you so you. much for the opportunity. Thank you. Be well.